Okay, so today we're going to try and transform a lamp, this one, right here into a brand new one. There's no need to get rid of lamps just because they're ugly. A lot of them are ugly, but that's okay because these make them pretty. So I'm going to flip the camera down and show you how we're going to transform this one. Okay, here we go. First thing I'm gonna do is spritz it a little bit because I want to blend a little bit of paint on here, a different color. And <clears throat> I'm going to be honest with you, this has one coat of old school DIY paint, VOC free, not low, but no VOC, no fumes, no smell. Awesome paint to work with, clay based. Um, and so I did a first coat of the old gray before I even realized that, hey, maybe I can do a little video on this and show you guys how you can transform a, a lamp. So I'm sorry about that. It already has one coat of old and gray, but now we're gonna put another old and gray. Hold on, back up that choo-choo. We gotta cut that clip. Old school is what we put on here, old school. Not old and gray. I'm feeling old and gray. Okay. <clears throat> we spritz it. Take our paint pixie brush. Dip it into a little bit of tarnished pearl. It's one of the new DIY colors. Creamy color. And we're just gonna paint. and try to get it in there with the old and gray. I found that spritzing it like I did, it would make the paint come off, the lamp. If it was a piece of furniture, it'd be a little bit different. So where I put the tarnished pearl to blend it, it was, it was pulling the gray away and it was showing the lamp in its original beauty that it was once upon a time. So instead of spritzing, I'm just going to blend by dipping my brush into the old school. I keep calling it old and gray. I don't know why. The old school and my tarnished pearl. Oops, sort of like this. So this way, this layer of paint is not coming off and I can still blend. And by the way, folks, I'm not trying to make this perfect. I want it to be kind of like an old vintage -y lamp, even though that's what it really was. But now we're going to give it a new look of vintage -y and old. We got to finish this. Well, at least at the very, at the very least, we need to get this off of here. That's not gonna be fun. But we can't keep this shade, no matter how vintage we want to make the lamp look, this just won't do. So I just take scissors and I just start cutting like that. And then kind of just ripping but be careful because you don't want to rip the cage. That's what this is called, the cage. And the great thing about this cage is, um, I kind of broke it a little bit. No. The great thing about this cage is, see right here, I'll have to glue that back on. The great thing about this cage is it has a top, a bottom, and it has these, maybe these are called ribs. I don't know. Um, if you have a lampshade that just has the round circle on the top and the round circle on the bottom, the metal that's holding up the, the material, those are, those are kind of hard to work with. Um, can't really do anything with those, but these you can. And I have a couple of ideas for this shade. I just don't know which one I'm gonna go with now. First, I'm gonna fight with it a little bit and tear all of this off. It ain't easy, as you can see. I'm your hard. Whoops. Okay. 
I'm, I'm a little bit of a brute. Let's go to the other side. We just gotta rip it and tear it and cut it and stab it. I guess if you're angry, you would get this and you just let your anger out and you would get this done a whole lot faster. This is the not fun part. Okay. As it turned out, I was a little bit of a brute in trying to undo this lampshade. So I had to go with the whole other lampshade because I did break the rib on this, cake, on this lampshade and was unable to fix it. More on that in a little bit. So I added some pink to this and I'm gonna add a little bit of petal pusher just here and there. Whoops. So our paint is clay based. So see, this is my, my petal pusher I've had for a long time. I haven't used it, but see it's clay. You guys, it is clay, it is clay based. And that's why this paint is awesome. part of transforming this lamp now that it's painted and by the way I added uh, little bits of drippy pink paint so next step we're gonna add some IOD transfers to the base of it and then you know the last thing we'll do is the shade because that's kind of like probably the part you're waiting for but it's not my favorite part so we're gonna go on with this, and this is, holy moly, I am blind. I need my glasses just to read. This is Wander, and it's really pretty, and it is one of their new transfers. So we're gonna get to that next. Here we go. So now that I have my transfer cut out, because you can cut these transfers, there's these awesome grid lines and um, makes it easy to cut. I'm going to choose a place to put it and put it right here. Now this I think is going to be a little tricky because, because it's a lamp and it's not a flat surface. So I'm going to use painter's tape to hold my transfer in place. Okay. This, by the way, is my first time doing a transfer on a lamp or on a surface like this, which is kind of tricky to get to stay still. As you can see, it wants to move. Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna do my very best to get this to get on the surface of the lamp. I think it's working. I think I'm done putting the transfers on here and I'm really excited and happy as to how it came out. The next thing we're gonna do is seal it. But look at this. That is so pretty and I'm really happy how it came out. It came out way better than I thought it would. All right, so next thing, let's seal this baby up. So let's get to it. I am going to use DIY 
clear wax. It's soft, it doesn't smell, and it's the best wax out there, trust me. So, a little bit of a mess. Okay, so it is time to do the lampshade. And that's what we're gonna do next. Now there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. You can actually just keep it like this and put an old fashioned vintage light bulb here and that would be pretty. Um, but we're gonna put some fabric on it. And um, yeah, let's do that. So what I did is I went out and bought some burlap and I cut it. I got about a yard. I did. I got a yard of burlap and I cut it. Because um, even a yard was a little bit too wide. And then I'm simply going to start with the hot glue gun. And, and there might be other ways of doing this, by the way. This is just how I do it. I have a lot of lamps that have sold with burlap and this is just how I do it. Um, okay. So I just start with one of these rib thingies here. And I just do the hot glue gun. And sometimes you have to go over it again because this dries pretty, pretty quickly. that I used in this video, the paint, the paint brushes, and, and the transfers, you can find it on my link below in the description. Thank you.